What does it take to grow from idea to dream? From dream to vision. From vision to legacy. Stan Big Bank is proud to partner with the Madvani Group, a family in the legacy business. Our group goes back to the 1870s. Kakira itself was started by my grandfather, Muljibai Madvani, in 1927. He started a very small mill here. Uh, he struggled for the first few years. Um, then by the time that we had reached 1972, we were producing 70,000 tons of sugar. And today, as you will learn, our production is nearer to 180,000 tons. Uh, our relationship with the Stanbic Bank in Uganda has uh, grown very well. Um, one of the great things about Stanbic Bank is that it's very much uh, an African bank um, and they understand the business. Uh, our business is not an easy one. It's an agricultural business. We have our ups and downs on the commodity side, on the weather side, everything, all the variables you could think of of a normal business plus many more. And we've always found a standard bank, Stanbic Bank, very uh, supportive of all our, uh, uh, all our actions. So we are very grateful for this relationship. We treat them as really one of our main stakeholders. My name is Catherine Asinde. I am the head of client coverage. I oversee the bank's relationship with corporate clients and on the corporate and investment banking side. We, we support a number of corporate clients of which Kakira is one of them. Our relationship with Kakira began a while back when we extended working capital facilities to Kakira. Since then, our relationship with Kakira has strengthened as their strategy has evolved. From then on, we have supported the client's ecosystem through providing banking services to the client's outgrowers, the client um, themselves, their staff members, as well as the ecosystem around Kakira community. In 2011, we were mandated the lead arranger to raise funding for Kakira for its expansion plans from its 4,000 tons crushed per day to 6,000 tons crushed per day. In 2012, Stanbic Bank was awarded um, the advisor for Kakira's NOT program, and that meant that the funds would be used for Kakira's um, expansion for its core generation plant from 6,000 megawatts to 20,000 megawatts. That did not stop. Um, in 2015, we, were also, we also participated in funding, in raising funding for Kakira's um, ethanol plant. That allowed Kakira to diversify its revenue stream. Now, if you look at the total, uh, what we are doing in uh, Kakira Sugar, we are ensuring that there is no wastage at all of the national resource. Like uh, whatever is possible from the sugar cane, first we are extracting juice and making uh, sugar out of it. And out of the residue of the sugar cane, we are uh, generating electricity out of it. And then whatever molasses is left where, from where we cannot uh, extract the sugar, we further produce ethanol, for, which is a biofuel. Uh, uh, and this is the whole gamut of uh, the business that we are doing uh, in Kakira Sugar. But the moment you walk in into Kakira, the one thing you will notice is the population. There are so many people around. And this includes uh, employees, their dependents, and other service providers. Kakira is a, a socially responsible citizen. We do first care for our workers and their um, dependents. As you may have seen, we've got uh, about 16 schools located on this plantation. We are the only plantation, I can say, in East African region that uh, has 4,000 children in its own schools receiving free primary education. We are proud to be in partnership with Kakira because we believe in making progress real for businesses in Uganda as we build a better tomorrow. Stand Big Bank, moving forward.